Okay, we're going to take a look at uh, Coach O's glide shot putter here. In the T position. Now he's bringing the left knee up toward the right knee and then coming upward into a dynamic start. He's going to come up on that right toe. I would st keep that uh, right heel up as you drop down, which he's doing here. It's good. He pushes off the toe, but uh, I would normally have them roll from the toe to the heel and push off the heel, but this is fine. The uh, left foot seems to go behind the uh, right heel. Uh, I try to avoid that, but the, if it works for him, that's fine, as long as you're kicking out. Um, the one advantage to doing this is now you got more weight on top of the right foot. Okay, now he's driving back. Yeah, it'd be right. Usually, I wouldn't start this uh, left kick so much until that uh, you roll from the toe onto that heel. Trying to see, I think he's kicking back before uh, that f toe gets on, or that uh, right foot gets on the heel just a little bit. But that's fine. Okay, so here we're re hitting our 90, 90 degrees. 90 degrees with the right, it's a nice low thigh, that's great. It's going to be able to drive back. Nice 90 degrees here. The foot's not too high at all with the uh, left foot kicking. He's got a nice drive here. He's coming off the toe, like I said earlier. Um, the angle looks fine. Uh, foot looks fine. It's not too high here on the left. Not above horizontal. He's pulling that right in real fast. Almost to the middle of the circle. Not quite. Right heel drops down. Shoulders are still back. Left arm is still back for counterbalance of this uh, foot here. Uh, let's see how the left foot lands, because you want to see that uh, knee and that hip open up when that left foot lands. Okay, He's not just uh, cartwheeling and bringing that foot down and popping the upper body up. He's uh, driving forward a little bit, low, that's good, as the foot comes down. Looks good. He's, he's turned the foot out, he's bringing the knee and the thigh with it. It's good, so the hips are now facing out here at 9 o'clock. Shoulders are still back at 12. Great separation. Now we want to start seeing the uh, right knee accelerating to the front as fast as possible. Then that left foot's down, the left heel's down. Okay. Foot's off right here, a little bit early. Um, I've seen some throwers do this. I prefer to have that knee and that that foot vertical with that knee all the way to the face in the front. I'm trying to drive that right hip in front of the left hip. Yeah, he's. I think he's got the left leg extended right here. Oh, that's what I'm seeing. Okay. Yeah, it looks like he's landed with almost a straight left leg. So you're really not going to get that uh, much of a lift. It might be because uh, maybe the feet are a little wide. So maybe if that right foot landed a little bit closer to the center, his feet would be closer. And you can land in a, a total squat position with both knees bent. It's hard to tell from this view. This, this right leg might be bent. It's just I don't see it right here. And then, uh, yeah, then turning and driving that uh, right knee, that uh, the heel up. I like to see the f bottom of the foot facing back here at 12 o'clock. You can see it's facing um, this way over here about 2 o'clock. So it's not rotated all the way. And then it's uh, ex coming up in the air. You want to keep that right foot as low to the ground as you can as it drives forward. Keep that knee bent. When you see this, when you see this right foot coming up, watch his upper body at the uh, from the hips. It starts to scrunch downward. Okay, you don't want to do that. You want to because that, what's that's going to do? You, know, you can see the uh, he's bending here at the uh, hips. And the upper body's coming forward. That uh, makes his chest come downward. Okay, and then the arm, of course, is going upward. So you're splitting your forces. It's best if the uh, keep the body back and the chest facing up at the same direction that an angle that you're throwing the shot at. It's good right here. He's pushing behind the elbows behind the shot. He's got a nice uh, left shoulders down lower than the hot, uh, right shoulder, which is high. That's good. 
But you can see, yeah, he's continuing the bending over here. Okay. You want to have that uh, right arm as it finishes up high and then going off high to the left. Before it comes down. And uh, good. He's not re rotating here. He's, he's landed uh, linearly straight across. And uh, that looks good. All right. That's about all I had to say for that one. If you have uh, any more questions, feel free to send me another video. Thanks, Coach Ope.